Okay, this is just a very quick demo of uh, eye tracking. The uh, left hand frame that you see in the uh, image on the screen is uh, face recognition. The right hand is just uh, kind of a currently crappy um, object recognition. It's getting the chair behind me, so is my desk as a dining room table. It does get me as a person. Um, even if it's only showing me a little pieces of me, it's, uh, it seems to be figuring that out. Um, but I'm trying to keep my face out of the screen for this right now. Um, and here's what happens. So right now the eyes are just doing a random scanning pattern so that they don't stare straight ahead when I am out of the frame or anybody is out of the frame. Um, but as soon as I get into the frame and it sees me, there it is. Now it locks on and it pretty much centers me. Now if you watch the eyeballs um, in the um, external video, you'll see that they are locked right onto me. And if you're looking at the, uh, the left-hand face recognition frame um, in the um, system view, uh, you'll see that my face is basically centered. So I'm going to move over. You can see the eyes tracking me as I go across here like that. Um, there's a little bit of jitter every once in a while. The, uh, the left eye especially kind of like flutters. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's pretty fast. A um, little bit of a lag. I think I've uh, dropped the gain a little bit too much. Um, there's still some oscillation around my face. Um, but it's, uh, it's, it's pretty straightforward. It tracks uh, up and down, right and left, uh, just fine. Follows me around uh, pretty well. And then if I go out of the frame, or if it loses track of my face, I'll put my handy-dandy COVID bandana up over my face here. And let's see if it loses track of my face. Yes. And then after a few seconds, it just goes back to a random scanning pattern. Um, and again, that's strictly so that it doesn't uh, it doesn't look like it's uh, you know staring robotically into space. So eh, back to this, and then at some point it'll look up high enough, and it will see um, me and not identify my uh, computer glasses as uh, one of the other people that I have programmed. In here. So it's fifty. And uh, yes, the robot's talking to me right now. It's basically, random junk generated by GPT-2 um, based on input that's not filtered. So uh, she is quite verbose. So that's uh, that's eye tracking. It's working pretty well. I'm going to try to integrate the uh, external video and the internal video um, so that you can see the eyeballs moving as well as seeing the. Uh, uh, the system. And this is, as you can see from uh, the external video, you can see that this is uh, a, a fixed system. The eyes are limited uh, in, in their ability to track left and right. Um, once I put this into the uh, robotic heads, and uh, I will show you those with this video here. I'm working on several things here. Um, you can see one of the earlier versions back over there. Um, the, the the head and, and uh, neck will be able to track uh, more effectively um, and so provide a much greater uh, visual tracking range uh, than just the eyeballs alone. Right now, uh, if you can imagine trying to watch somebody, if you couldn't move your head, you could only move your eyes, um, it would be very difficult. And uh, once I get uh, everything built into the, the new skull and uh, put onto a, a new neck with servos, uh, that can handle all three uh, dimensions, um, I'll be able to have much, much wider tracking range. So, and much more naturalistic movements as well. So, um, this is version three, actually. I never bothered videoing version two because I was um, not quite happy with uh, some of the tracking issues that I was having in some of the feedback loops, and my code was nowhere near as, as sharp as this. Um, I'm also using distributed computing uh, systems right now so that um, individual functions are being handled by separate scripts, and I'm using uh, ZMQ and image ZMQ um, to make certain that everything uh, is able to talk to each other, but I don't have to try to integrate everything together, which was an enormous pain in version one and version two. Now everything is uh, sits separately and uses message uh, message passing between um, the scripts to make a much, much cleaner 
um, this setup. And uh, right now, if you're watching me on the screen, you can see that those eyeballs are, are tracking me very, very well. You know, if I move to the, the side, it follows me to the side. And uh, once I put those in um, a robotic head and then put the, the face mask back on it, uh, you know, right there, you'll see her in the uh, external video. Um, it'll be uh, much more realistic. So, so um, that's where it's at. That's the, uh, the status update. Right now the eyeballs are staring down at the desk. Um, there I am. And now it focuses on me. So, yeah, it's pretty good. So, anyway, um, thanks for watching. Uh, it's been a while. I've been extremely busy. There's been a lot of stuff going on in my uh, day life, um, dealing with uh, business issues associated with uh, this whole virus crap. Um, I want to thank you for watching. I hope you're uh, finding this enjoyable and it's able to whatever you're using this for is taking some of your uh, time and helping you to enjoy things and maybe not feel quite so cramped up uh, in whatever form of isolation you might be in during this time. Um, good luck. Stay healthy. Thanks for watching. Um, and I hope to have some more videos in the next week or two. Thanks.